Hey, it's John Kewen here. I'm back at the property today and today we're gonna to be working on a new toilet situation. So if you haven't watched my last video, I introduced this property. We basically bought vacant land. We plan to camp on it and enjoy it. And maybe someday we'll build a house or something, but we're gonna basically glamp on this. So we're gonna set this property up for glamping. One of the most important things with camping is obviously food and water, but those two things need to go somewhere when your body's kind of done with them. We don't have like running water here or obviously like toilet facilities, but we do have this really gross old outhouse that came with the property. And my dad was kind enough to write on it John's Cottage because we don't have a cottage yet. And um, so that's, I guess, my cottage for now, but I despise it. It, it, it like is full of bugs. It's at capacity, I'm sure and the door doesn't even close. Like it's it's about to fall down and there'd probably be nothing worse than somebody sitting in there and it falling down on them. So we gotta take care of this and we're gonna try to do it with style. So this is what we have in mind. We're gonna be building an A-frame outhouse. We've always liked A-frames. We think they look really cool and they just have this like classic cottage vibe to them, but they're not that useful as far as like space. Like you have a huge footprint and then you have almost no space as the roof kind of tapers in at the top. So we figured if we're gonna build an A-frame, we might as well make it a single use building like an outhouse, which doesn't really need a ton of space. You just need kind of like a little toilet and that's about it. So there's kind of two basic requirements that we want for this outhouse. It has to smell good and it has to not have any bugs in it. So we're gonna make kind of a nice looking outhouse with sealed walls and it's gonna smell good. And it's not gonna be like a hole in the ground kind of outhouse like you might have seen at like a provincial park or something. This will be a composting toilet. It's supposed to be odorless. It's kind of like sleek and good looking and it's supposed to be a kind of seamless experience for someone who hasn't really used a lot of these alternate facilities. The first step in this build was to find a flat location for the foundation of the building. We found a relatively flat spot that only needed a little bit of grading. It's interesting digging up ground and seeing like fallen trees and stuff still in the process of becoming soil here. We took a delivery of some overpriced vegetation from a local lumberyard and started the build. I decided to hang the joist hangers before hanging the joist, and I wouldn't really recommend this. It was kind of tricky to do and it felt like it wasn't as snug. Check this thing out. It's a cordless nailer. I know there's like a lot of battery powered nailers, but this thing uses a battery, like a small six volt just to make a spark. And then it has a gas canister that actually explodes every time you drive a nail. A single cylinder gas nailer. And these have been around forever and it works and it's awesome. And it was way cheaper than the DeWalt framing nailer. This we're gonna put in here. And then just screw that in. We went with deck blocks and gravel for the footings of the structure. It's not a large structure, so I'm hoping it will do. If the ground changes over time, we can just jack it up and level the structure with more gravel. It's getting mosquito-y, but we finished the deck and it's level, and tomorrow we're gonna put up the A-frame. It's hard work filming and building at the same time, so there's not a ton of detail here, but you get the idea. It's pretty straightforward. The sun's setting and we want to go for a canoe ride before the sun dips. We'll resume this in the morning. We're out for a canoe ride and it, there's like swarms of mosquitoes that sound like a drone. And if you look out, there's just like a column of black mosquitoes droning on. And the coolest thing is we're like paddling through this patch of fish that are jumping out of the water eating these mosquitoes. Pretty cool. The next morning starts with a classic breakfast of pancakes and bacon. Having that kitchenette that we built in the last video really paid off. 
Today we are cutting the rafters for the roof. It's great having help. My brother-in-law spent the whole morning basically cutting angles and two by fours and ripping plywood for the floor deck. Now for the fun part, putting up the A-frame. After a sanity check of making sure we cut the right angles, we just started assembling it. It went up pretty quickly. We had lots of hands helping, which made it go smoothly without too much planning. And again, I did more building than filming. Here's weekend one of building the A-frame outhouse, and it's looking pretty good. Not huge, but it's not small either. It's just the perfect size, especially when you sit down. 10 foot ceilings, can't complain about that. All right, so we're doing strapping instead of sheathing because sheathing is like super expensive right now. And these roof panels can just go right to strapping. So that's pretty sweet. I ended up stumbling across these clearance roof panels. They're kind of like an organic core fiber with like tar, basically like a stiff shingle. And they were like 80% off. So we bought those and nails and we're gonna give them a try. All right, so we're gonna be putting these roofing pieces up and normally they come with closure strips that you put on the bottom and the top um, to vent the roof. And there's usually little holes and it keeps animals out like birds and bugs. But this is a liquidation product, so we don't have that. So we're gonna make our own closure strips using this mesh and basically wrap it around so that animals and bugs can't get up through these ridges. And then the first piece is gonna go over top and inside is basically a nice little mesh to protect the roof from uh, bugs and animals and stuff. So this roof product was purchased online due to store closures and there was no signs of like the closure strips I mentioned being available online or by phone. We later went to the store when they opened and found piles of those closure strips available, which is mildly infuriating because we spent a lot of time figuring out how to, how to close off the ends of the panels, but our solution worked out pretty well. So we've got most of the roof up, the main panels are up, and it's looking pretty good. We need to figure out some venting for the ridge along with some sort of bug proofing. And then we've got these edge pieces that go on here, but they're brown. So they just didn't have any black left. This is a liquidation product, so they didn't have any black left, but we just bought some paint. You could, you could paint match this and uh, use any exterior paint and it will, it should paint well. And then that'll go over here and kind of cover some of this and then we'll probably do like a i don't know what you call it but like a fascia piece it's getting there the solution for the ridge vent came pretty easy we just ended up reversing basically what we did at the bottom and wrapped the top of the ridge with bug screen and then put the last row of shingles up and then the ridge cap so that's it the structure's up and it's relatively water resistant in the next video, we'll do the walls, the window, the door, and some other cool stuff. So if you're interested, follow along.